Hello, and welcome to everyone's favorite show, Life's Little Chromants. This week will all be about the Sintoy machine, which is one of the best machines in here, in my opinion. It is hard to sound cool while using a machine called Sintoy, but let me tell you, it is anything but childish. For some examples, here are eight different presets I've made all with the Sintoy. A basic bass drum. It's supposed to be a snare, but not really a snare. It's a nice pad. This sort of hi-hat type sound. That. This is a basic bass. It's a cool thing. And another nice pad. And this is what they sound like together. Just something I slapped together with very little effort. Anyways, let's get into it. So the Sin Toy Machine is basically designed to emulate striking a physical object. You could say a toy with something else. And all of the parameters are basically designed to change the shape and how hard you're hitting it and such. I mean, obviously, this is not literally creating an object, so it's all, you know, rough estimates, but... So I've initialized this one, so it doesn't have any of my weird stuff anymore, so this is what it sounds like when you first load up the Sin Toy Machine. So, um, it has the usual tune and decay and overdrive that everything else have, and um, it has punch as well. And the other ones that it has, so it has form which is basically changing, you can think of it as changing the uh, shape of the object that is being struck. It is the main thing that will color your sound, so when you can kind of start here for what kind of sound you want to make. Punch does what punch does everywhere else, it makes it more like kind of snappy and a, almost like distorted a bit. And decay does decay. So one thing to note before we get into the rest, decay on this one, all the machines are different in this. Um, decay on this one even maxed and amp maxed set to infinite decay time won't hold forever. So you can't make pads this way unless, so the way you have to do it you go to amp, change the mode to ADSR. When it's an ADSR, you can hold for as long as you want and make your little pads or whatever you want it to be. So that's how you do that. I'll put that back for now. All right, moving on. Uh, impact is basically how hard you're hitting the object. It's kind of works similar to punch. I'll turn punch off. But it's kind of like a, a slowly controllable punch, which, you know, with double punch makes it extra snappy. Almost adds a bit of static um, noise. It sounds a bit like a snare there for a bit at the end. Um, and brightness. Brightness its kind of like how dense the object would be. Makes it a lot more dull. Makes it a lot more bright. Imagine that. Partial decay. Well, This kind of is just like, we'll cut off the um, these effects, I think, sooner and let the rest trail off. Or if you have it maxed, then these will kind of continue. Overdrive, it's overdrive. Anyways. 
yeah, so that's the basic parameters. Um, kind of go over this one here. So, like, this is a nice pad. Um, it's just with the ADSR. Had some delay in there. It has a lot of reverb. Reverb makes it sound nice. Had some low pass filter. Yeah. Nothing too crazy, but you wouldn't really go into this with the initial sound that you hear when you hit toy and think that you could make a sound like that necessarily. Um, but yeah, um, play with your stuff because you never know. Let's see. Makes like a nice bass here. It's a pretty cool bass. Not much to that, just like lower the impact. It's really not much to it. You can make a lot of really different sounds with not having to do a lot of things. The only ones that are really did anything further. I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. I'm pretty tired today, which is why this video is also late. Um, this one. Yeah, this one's got just a filter frequency LFO on it. Just Lots of overdrive. Uh, yeah, tuning uh, changes the tone a lot. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Track. Like the bass there. Oh my god, pressing all the wrong buttons. Bass. Um, sounds like that when it's normal tuning. So. Anyways, uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll just kind of end with that, and maybe I'll just play out the uh, pattern a little bit. If you want to hear it, keep listening. If you don't, thanks for tuning in, and yeah, enjoy using the Sin Toy Machine, because it's one of the best ones there. Alrighty, see you later. fade this out and then make it sound like terrible clown music. Okay, bye.